Hey everyone, welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. <laughs> welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. Megan here, and I am going to be making a cold process soap for you today. It has been a while since I have made soap. And you guys know making soap is my first love. I've been making so many other things, great things, which I love making too. But I love making soap and I have to restock my unscented triple milk yogurt and honey soap. So that's what I'm gonna do. So in here I have my melted oils and I have my lye solution, which is Tessa Silk, Aloe and Sodium uh, Hydroxide and Sodium Lactate. And um, so I'm, I already said Tessa Silk, but it's in there. And then I have my milks mixed with yogurt and um, so it's uh, Greek yogurt. It's um, coconut milk, and there's goat milk, and there's cow's milk. And then I also have some organic NorCal honey, which I love. And then I have all my wonderful oils in kale and clay and colloidal oatmeal. So this soap is going to be very, very nourishing. I use this soap uh, when I don't, and it's gonna be unscented. I use this soap on my daughter a lot. Um, in the summertime, she does a lot of swimming. This is my six year old, this is Sayla. She does a lot of swimming and she also has eczema. So sometimes the chlorine kind of irritates her skin a little bit. And normally she's totally fine with any soap, fragranced or not. And it's actually all the time. But sometimes when she does have an eczema flare up, I use this and it kind of, you know, helps to calm things down I don't want to make any medical claims but it just helps with um, soothing you know just irritated skin so but I'm not gonna make any medical claims it's gonna get you clean but it just had a lot of um, great ingredients for you um, that's good for your skin so I am going to start by mixing up this uh, these oils with the additives Get, the, get all that incorporated. Then I'll go ahead and add my milks and my yogurts and my honey. And I'll bring that, get that all mixed up. And then I will add my lye solution and bring it up to a trace. I wanna bring it up to a medium trace. Maybe, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, and then I'll pour it into my mold. So I'll go ahead and get started now. And then I'll let the music play so you don't hear this loud um, stick blender. Okay, so let's start. Okay guys, I have brought this up to a very light trace and I'm going to now pour the soap batter into the mold. Um, so I did not make a full milk soap with this. What I do is I deduct um, the amount of milks and yogurt and honey from uh, the total water that I am going to use for my um, recipe and I already soak with a water discount um, but I find that doing it this way you still get all of the luxuriousness and richness of a full milk soap with 
I'm not having to freeze the milk and then add the lye slowly and do an ice bath to keep the milk cold so it doesn't scorch. It's just easier. Now, I do like full milk soaps. I just don't like necessarily making them. And I feel like you still get a good added benefit doing it this way as opposed to doing it the traditional full milk soap way. So if you want to have a shortcut and you're not having to freeze the milk and all that kind of stuff, you can always um, do a shortcut this way. So now that I have um, brought this up to a light trace, I'm going to go ahead and pour this in my mold. And this is, like I said, a very simple soap, so it's not going to be a very long video. I'm going to go ahead and dump this in. And then I will scrape out the container. And you know what, I said this is unscented, and unscented meaning I did not add any fragrance oil. However, there's a lot of cocoa butter in this soap. So it does have that, it, the cocoa kind of scent does come through. It's very light, but it's there. Um, so it's very pleasant, I love it. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there and then for the top, what I'm going to do, and this is very fluid because there's no, there's no, it's unfragranced. I'm going to take these bubble wrap, it's going to make a really cool design like it's honeycomb and I'm just going to put it on one side of the soap. Leaves a very cool design. So I'll put one on one side and since this is a double loaf mold, I'll do the other on the other side. And just make sure that gets in there really good. Okay, now I should have done this before, but I'm going to spray this with 99% isopropyl alcohol and I will cut this tomorrow. So I'll bring you guys back in for the cut. Hey guys, welcome back to the Butterbean Bean. Ugh, can't talk. Welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. This is Megan. I am here to cut my unscented triple milk yogurt and honey soap that I made yesterday. And it's a very simple soap. It's really no huge, you know, every soap bar is gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna uh, breeze right through the cut of this. Um, it's just a awesome soap. It's so nourishing. The honey, the yogurt, the cow milk, the goat milk, the coconut milk. It just, it's a very decadent soap. So, if you guys like unscented soaps and you like milk soaps, um, this will be the bar for you. Um, and the soap makers, you have to try um, putting all this stuff in the soap. It's great. However, please note that it does heat up because of all of the sugars and then the honey so it it bubbles really really the lather is awesome in this soap but it does overheat so you just have to watch it very very closely um put it in the refrigerator once it starts you know kind of 
looking like it's done a volcano. Um, normally when that happens, the middle kind of poofs up. Um, so once you see that starting to happen, which it happens very, rather quickly, probably within the, I don't know, 15 minutes of putting it in the um, mold and letting it sit. Um, but I highly suggest that you um, really just watch it, put it in the refrigerator once it starts to do that. So anyway, I'll go ahead and start cutting a piece and you can see it's all going to be the same just a regular plain old bar of unscented soap there you go so I am just and you can see it did partially it, it did gel so this is the gel ring that you can see um but yeah I don't know if you can see it but you, you definitely did job but anyway guys um, I'll go ahead and finish cutting this I mean there's not much to see but some of you guys just like to see the cut so I'll go ahead and you know breeze through the chopping and then you know I'm gonna thank you guys for joining me and watching me and subscribing to me and liking my videos because quite frankly that's why I do it because I want to share how you know I make myself in, in hopes that it will help other people and also inspire other people to make soap but yeah and sometimes my customers want to see how I actually make it so I just love to share I don't um, do it for profit because I don't <laughs> because I'm not monetized in any way. Um, I just do it because I just want to put it out there. Not saying that I might not monetize my channel, but at this point, I did not monetize it. So anyway, I'm so off topic, but I love you guys, and I'm so grateful that you tune in and watch it. And until next time, take care and God bless.